we're gonna do a leg extension video today um, and and the, the goal and the purpose of it is to move the effect and the feel and the results down away from the belly of the muscle of the quads towards the tendon the musculotendinous junction down more near the kneecap and so this is a typical leg extension machine. I'll flip this around what I'm talking about. And I have David in the, in the machine where his knees are well ahead of the axis of rotation of the machine. The machine's axis of rotation is right here. And I have David's positioning by moving the, the, the seat forward. That's pushing his kneecaps and knees joint ahead of in front of anterior to the axis of rotation so he'll be rotating in front of the axis of the rotation where the weight is David do do about 10 repetitions there and what we'll see is it looks like a normal leg extension for all intents and purposes but David should be able to tell me after he gets a decent burn going he should be able to tell me that he feels the work and the burn and the energy and the tension higher in the in the the belly of the muscle as opposed to at either end of the muscles insertion or origin I should say origin or insertion so as you're doing this David are you noticing a normal feel or is it a little bit slightly higher perhaps mm, it's a tad bit higher and that's where it should be. And so now, David, hop off and adjust the seat back so that it allows you to lay further back, which will allow us to pull your knees back more into a normal position that we would, we would normally use for the operation of this machine. So now, as David sits on here, now his knees are more in line with the axis of the rotation. This is the proper, normal, uh, ordinary, everyday garden variety setup for doing a leg extension. Now when you do these, go ahead and get a decent burn going. Just go do, do some reps. And what I hope that you notice after a couple repetitions, even after the first one, is that the pressure and the weight and the the burn, once, we, once you get it, is moved away from the belly of the muscle and a little bit more towards yeah it is which we call distal leaf towards the end of the joint here away from the center of the body down away towards the joint in this case the knee joint and the patellar tendon is that clear david you were able to feel that yeah it's more like right here yeah yeah and all we did was we just moved the seat back a little bit we didn't change the weight we didn't change the way we we're exercising we just changed our position. So now to get the effect that I want us to have today, you can rest there, David. Hop out, move the seat back even further back, and all he's doing is he's making an adjustment so that the, the seat itself will, will be further away from this. And he's gonna get himself in here now such that his calves are gonna be jammed right up against here, really uncomfortably, quite uncomfortably actually. But, but we're gonna to try to get a situation where we can get the knee itself behind this axis of rotation. Go ahead and now do a repetition, David. When you get to the top, pull yourself back in the machine some so that you can you can kind of slide your knees. Now when when you come down, it's gonna push your knee front because your calves are in the way. Yeah. But go ahead and tolerate that a little bit. And then now as you extend, this gives you an opportunity to move and pull yourself back in the machine a little bit to get the knee joint behind this normal position. And where did where does that feel? I'm, <laughs> I want you to I want you to dismiss that discomfort there. Yeah. I want you to ignore okay. that. And I want you to feel what's happening here, though, at the at the quad and the yeah. knee. What do you got there? Do you have it down even closer to the patella? Yeah. And do one more. 
and that should demonstrate what I want to demonstrate. So all he's done, why don't you go ahead and hop out of the machine for a second, David, and I'll just point at the machine. All we've done here is change the, the place that the knee makes its hinge from in front of to in line with to as much behind it as we could. And by doing that, we change the feel and where the, the stress load is being placed on the quadriceps. And there's good reasons that we might want to, to move that stress line and that stress load and that development down towards the uh, kneecap. Uh, I, tore, I tore a quad, <laughs> so I'm, I'm, I'm uh, especially, uh, I find this exercise especially valuable to put the stress down near the patellar tendon to, to get the work and the load and the development down in that direction. But if you were, if you were wanting to develop uh, a teardrop for bodybuilding or for any reason that you wanted to, if you wanted to strengthen the, the quadriceps muscle and the knee joint itself closer to the knee joint itself, this is one way you can facilitate that and you can do that. And you're gonna be limited by the kind of machine that you have. We found this one to be the best one in this gym uh, to be able to allow us to, to move the seat back and also to adjust the uh, rollers so that they weren't too distractingly uncomfortable. But if you, if you came to the gym to be comfortable you're in a wrong place. You need your sofa or your bed, and that's the place to be comfortable. So you shouldn't have been to the gym expecting to be comfortable. And this is admittedly a little uncomfortable, but the benefits of it, by moving the stress and the development and the work down to different places in the muscle. And we know that the muscle is being developed differently, not because we have to wait and see over time. We can feel where the burn is. And where the burn is, is where the muscles are using glycogen. They're contracting and relaxing, contracting and relaxing. If there's a part of your muscle that isn't feeling the burn, it's not contracting and relaxing. And this is very easy to feel as you, as you reposition yourself in these different positions where the burn is happening. And that means those are the muscle fibers that are getting the work in that, in that um, exercise. And, and th there's, there's other adaptations you can do. And, and I do some bodybuilding exercises to, to work the rectus femoris even higher up and put the knees even further ahead of this position. But that takes some finagling with a, with a board or a, a, or a free pad, and we don't have that at this gym. But that, that, the, the basic concept I want you to grasp is that when you move the knees ahead of the axis of rotation, in front of, anterior to, it will move the work and, and the development higher into the belly of the muscle. And when you move the, the knees back towards further and further back, even past, we tried to go even past the normal axis of rotation, it will move that, that development stress and, and uh, results down towards the musculotendinous junction and the tendon. And I, I firmly believe that the loading of the tendon in this way will help strengthen that tendon quite a bit. And, and I have a quad tear that uh, I've, I've used this myself with, but reason alone tells me that that will happen, let alone my own personal results. But if you're, if you're, if you're dubious, you should try it. <laughs> you should try it for yourself. And, and I think you'll be very happy with the results. So thank you for listening.